Hello out there YouTube. What's going on guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player, commentating again over another insane gameplay on the gaming VOD. This gameplay was brought to you by Consistent Luck, and what you're going to be watching here is a 91 gun streak on free fall, playing domination of course. 91 gun streak. I can't even fathom it, to be honest. I can't imagine what I would feel like if I had gotten this uh, sort of gameplay. A lot of people, and I mean a lot, would be insanely happy to get 90 kills in an entire game. He got it in just under 6 minutes, and he did it without dying once. Now, of note, he went ahead and also dropped 216 kills in the entire game. Now, I'm only showing you the gun streak. Uh, but I have included the scoreboard at the end to show that he got 216 kills. Just absolutely insane game. Definitely a top tier game. And uh, that's really all I can really say about the game. You guys just get to sit back, relax, enjoy my uh, monotone, soothing voice. Watch Consistent Luck just shit all over these kids. And today what I want to talk about is why I still look forward to playing Call of Duty Ghosts. Even now, even with Advanced Warfare hype train rolling in, and even uh, you know with Call of Duty Ghost life cycle towards the end, I still look forward to sitting down in front of my uh, TV and playing this game. And I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people are absolutely tired of Ghost. I know a lot of people quit the game after the first week, and that's okay. You guys are all entitled to have your own opinions. Um, everyone is. I. I've always liked Ghost. I always thought it was a pretty good game. Of course, it has its flaws, but I still think it's one of the best Call of Duties made. And like I said, I know it has its flaws. I know you guys are going to disagree with me. Uh, at least a lot of you are. But, you know, we have our own opinions, and that's that's perfectly fine. That's why it's an opinion. I'm not saying I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just saying that's my opinion. So I want to tell you guys exactly why I look forward to playing Call of Duty Ghosts. And why you guys may think differently about sitting down uh, in front of your console the next time. So I'm assuming that most of you guys are in high school or maybe college. That's just typically the demographic on uh, on a lot of these videos. You know, uh, preteen to late teens, sometimes early 20s. Me, myself, I am 25. I'm only a couple uh, weeks away from being 26. And um, I'm married. I have a one and a half year old and another baby on the way. And I can tell you that uh, once you graduate college or high school or whatever, you get your full time job, you get married, you settle down, you start having kids, a lot of your free time is not going to be spent playing Call of Duty. And that's what I've discovered. You know, there are some days where I spend eight, ten hours watching cartoons with my daughter or going to the park or whatever. And, uh, you know, she's young and for the first, you know, probably three years of her life, you know, she won't be able to keep herself entertained all the time by herself. And not only that, I, you know, need to be a father and I need to, you know, uh, you know, when my wife is not home and everything, make sure that, you know, she's not getting into trouble or doing anything that, you know, is going to harm her, like licking in an electrical outlet or something. I don't know. But my point is, is that my free time where I would normally sit down over the course of a year and spend, you know, 25, 30 something days playing Call of Duty, just relaxing when I'm not at work or whatever, is now spent, you know, cooking dinner, doing dishes, doing laundry, uh, helping my wife with her homework because she's going back to school, spending time with the baby. Um, you know, like I said, we have another one on the way. So I know that, you know, when Advanced Warfare comes out, I'm going to have even less time to play. Um, than what I would normally or what I would like to. Um, so that being said, whenever I sit down to play, I know that I have a very finite amount of time to do it. And in fact, a lot of the times, the most I get to play in maybe a week is maybe three or four hours. And, um, you know, it's it does get frustrating at times. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, growing up is 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 really hard. Um, especially when you go from one extreme to the other, you know, we had our first child and got married very, very quickly. Um, and, uh, I, I'm not saying I regret that decision. I'm not saying I, you know, I wish I would have done something different or anything, but, uh, you know, you guys really should share the time that you have. And if, 
playing Call of Duty is really what you love and enjoy doing, then uh, then you should do that because you're not going to always have that opportunity. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you hate it and it's all right, just dislike it um, and leave a comment why. Make sure to check out all the links below in the description. If you liked my uh, smooth, monotone, boring voice uh, being the most chill COD player, then feel free to check out my channel. The link will be in the description. Appreciate you guys stopping by to watch it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Ah, uh, Yeah, I got 100.